uh, first of all, to document the wreck and that it actually happened. It will also document the parties and you'll know who the other driver was in case you have been injured and you want to seek legal recourse, knowing who the other driver is, who their insurance company is. That's all found in the police report. But most importantly, you want a police officer and you want that police report in case one of the, the facts might be incorrect. The sooner you can go to that police officer and discuss the inaccuracy, there's a greater likelihood that the police officer will agree with you and correct that inaccuracy. Whereas if, if you come to us years later and we try to discuss an inaccurate fact or an inaccurate finding in a police report, their police officer is not going to remember that. And he or she is going to have a difficult time uh, having that conversation with us, to be perfectly candid. Whereas if you find yourself in a wreck, uh, get the police report, okay? Get it as soon as possible. And then when you see us, we'll discuss that. And that's something we'll go over with you. And if you look at that police report and say, actually, I think this might be wrong, then we'll help you walk, we'll walk you through that and we'll help you go to the police officer and, and see what their reasoning was for that, uh, for that finding. Sometimes it's a simple matter of the police officer saying, you know what, I meant to put driver two and I put driver one down. And I can correct that. And that's important to do early on in your case while the police officer still has a recollection of your event. If you wait two years later, chances are the police officer isn't going to remember your event. So, if you're in a wreck, <laughs> I highly recommend Try to get your hands on the police report as quickly as possible, and after you do that, come see us at Bailey, Javins, and Carter, and we'll, uh, we'll walk you through that.